Hello and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 3. It is the 1st of February, 1938, and we're still in the process of building our two armies here on the Western Front. The first army is complete, and I believe the second army is complete as well. I'm going to take a real quick look at all the cores in this army. And they look fine. Five cores, here we go. Second army, fourth core, 17th, 18th, 19th, and the 17th Panzer Corps. All looking good. We have those ready. We did say we were doing, I think, some... Finishing some upgrades, that's right. I said we were going to make uh, let those we're going to have those complete before we do any more production, but I lied. We're going to do some more production here. We're going to kind of split the the uh, industrial capacity the seventy points. We're going to split it between production and upgrades because I really need to get these uh, infantry units going. I think I'm going to go ahead and do well. We do have a year, probably. Hmm. And I think I'm going to need these, so I'm going to go ahead and start doing those. Four infantry brigades in each division here. Infantry, there we go. Let's do four, maybe? Yeah, I think four would be good. And then we could do another four. That would be our nine that we need. Let's start production and get the production need up to what it needs to be. To oh, You know what we could do? Again, we could... We could delay this one. And instead of using this 10 for the Scharnhorst, we could do another division. Yeah, put the Scharnhorst down at the end. And put our need... We'll leave it at 44. I think that will... 44? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's probably going to need to be something like 45-ish. Right somewhere around 45. Let's make it 40, 40, near 46. That should do it. And then we still have some... Well, actually, we could probably do another one if we wanted to. Yeah, let's do another one. Put the Scharnhorst down here. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So it says we need 61, so it would be about 51, something of that nature. Let's bring this up to 51. Somewhere around there, and that still gives us 48 for upgrades. We're not doing reinforcements yet. And we're still meeting our consumer goods needs. Um, our, IC, our, our descent is, is a little, just a tiny bit. Hi, it's nothing to worry about yet. I think we'll just leave it right there. And what else do we need to do? Hmm. Our air units. We have one tactical one tactical bomber. We have we do have we do need another interceptor. We need need well, we, we need to start with the Air Force soon, but I think all we need is two tactical. Actually, this has four units. We're gonna split that into two. This also has four. So we have plenty of tactical bombers. Um we could use one more interceptor unit before the war kicks off with Germany. How long does it take to make those? 136 days. So we'll get one of those started. How much are they? 13 IC. Okay. Okay. We could. Pro we'll, we'll get that done. We'll get that done. Let's go ahead and uh, get this going here. And we'll probably speed it up here. I just want to see what the heck's going on. And what we've been doing. Kind of get a little up. Because I haven't played this in... I recorded four episodes really quickly. And uh, then I haven't played it in about a week. Uh, it looks like we're losing supply. Well, we're losing 327 a day. Okay, so... Let's... Leave this at 51. Let's see if we can boost this and take it from our upgrades. Sorry, upgrades. You're just going to have to wait for a little while. This is a... Hmm. Going to need 
a little bit more than 51, it looks like. Let's get this up to, what, what percentage of, this is 97%. So that, let's see how that works. When this ticks over to 24, there we go, that's much better. Now this one is being built at 13%. And our supplies, let's watch our supplies for a little bit. Okay, that's better. Minus 20 a day is not bad. Okay, so National Unity looks good. We need to get our officers oh, core up there pretty soon. We have plenty of um, um, diplomatic influence if we want to make trades. And it looks like some light tank gun advance. I didn't... Let's take a look at those real quick. Armor... Light tank gun. Okay, so these are now starting to become. Now, I think last episode, our our infantry, our core infantry, techs got up to date, and I said the armor ones were not far behind, and they're going to start finishing here soon. Okay. We should be getting close to the Austria decision. I think I'll get this. I think I'll move this a little faster. So now of our all of our light tank uh, techs are up to date. Now we can we can research self-propelled artillery, which we will start. I mean, we've already got anti-tank, um, but you know what I'll probably do? I mean, we have tank destroyers in our tank brigades, our tank divisions. Uh, and tank brigades. So what I might do is when we get to say this tech um, this superior firepower that's probably when in 1940 that's probably when we'll start adding the self-propelled self -propelled artillery brigades into our divisions. And that will make them much more much stronger. Much stronger. Okay, Republic and Spain want some energy. Speaking of them, how does this look down here? It looks like... Oh, hold on a sec. Yeah, it looks like National Spain is almost defeated. I, I believe. I think that's what I'm saying. Yes, that's what I'm saying. It looks like Republican Spain controls all of this. Yeah, they, they only have this left. It looks like the war is almost over down there. Uruguay would like... They want to sell fuel. Okay. Okay, we, this is the decision probably for Austria. Romania would like to sell fuel. Okay, let's take a look. Yep. Ashlus of Austria. So, demands for the Union of Austria and Germany increased after Adolf Hitler became German Chancellor in February 1938. It's now March. Hitler invited Kurt von Schuschnigg, the Austrian Chancellor, to meet him. Uh, 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 to meet him at Berchtesgaden, Hitler demanded concessions for the Austrian Nazi Party. And he refused. Okay, and the Austrian Chancellor announced, uh, okay, blah, 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 blah. Adolf Hitler took this opportunity to take action against the Austrian state. So what happens basically is uh, we, we meet all the conditions here. Uh, Austria is at peace. Uh, we have the modifier politics, political crisis in Austria. Well, they do. And one of the following must be true. Uh, and the last one is true. It is at least the 1st of March, 1938. Now, when we do this, we gain five more dissent for taking Austria for some weird reason. We lose 15 neutrality, which helps us uh, declare war. Now, uh, our relations with France, United Kingdom, Italy, Czechoslovakia, and Hungary all decrease. The reason it decreases with Italy is because I believe they have a their own decision about Austria, and this one kind of messes with that. 
And there's a slight chance that they will not like this action, but chances are it'll be fine. And then we get a bunch of cores. France loses 5 in neutrality. Italy loses 30 in neutrality. But we're going to do this, definitely. Okay, so we just annexed Austria. Fuhrer, Germany annexed Austria, which is now part of our country. Here we go. Now let's see what we get down here. We do have some mountain core, mountain divisions. We have two mountain brigades, three brigades, two brigades. That looks interesting. We'll put that one on the eastern front. Although, hmm. And what do we have here? Okay, these are the motorized divisions I was talking about. Ooh, and some armor too. Okay. Okay, let's just... um. Send all this up to Berlin, and we'll figure it out there, what we want to do with that stuff. Oh, and this one too. No, no, that was the one we we recruited for the for the Maginot Line. Okay. These are, aren't going to be completed till May. How many of the... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, that'd be awfully tight, but I could do it. I could do it. You know what I could do? Is I could use a few of these here. Let's see if we can. One, let's see. We have three here, three here. I could probably do this. Like. Let's see. We have one here. Now, I believe, though, that these are. Yeah, these, these are reserve units, though. Still. I need a couple more brigades. I could use some mountain units there, or the SS. Maybe I should just use the SS. Let's get rid of that one. We don't need these units. These uh, leader units, we don't need them. Hmm. <clears> hmm. <throat> yes, I could use this one. I do have some. <laughs> I could add the SS to them, or I could just put the SS down there by them together. There. And that would be two, and then I could go in May. That would be interesting. I'm going to consider it, so let's move the SS unit, and what was the other one? This one here? Okay, yeah. This one and this one. Let's go ahead and move them down here. Maybe we'll use them. Well, refining in advance, good. And that's inefficient research. Is it oil refining? Yes. And it looks like our upgrades now are starting to... So you're wasting, I see, on upgrades. So it looks like... Yeah, it's went down. The upgrade need has went down to 41. We do need some reinforcements. Supplies... Ooh, supplies have already jumped back up to 13,000. This is progressing at 69%. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm. I could put the weak one up here, like in this position here, the reserve unit. Do we want to go full speed on the Scharnhorst? Hmm. I guess we could. No, let's. Well, hmm. if we declare war this summer, we're going to need it. So let's go full speed on the Scharnhorst. How soon? 15th of March, 39? That's a little... Well, let's see what happens. Uh, 
Okay, I'm going to hit the reinforcement cost. I'm going to go ahead and go 100% on reinforcements too. That shouldn't take too long. Okay, reinforcements. Oh, wow. Okay, that didn't take long at all. We only need 31 supplies. This is going down. That's good. Okay, so it looks like Republican Spain annexed National Spain. Spanish Civil War ended. Republican Spain won. Uh, but we'll be taking them down probably in 1940. Okay, there are some new divisions. Let's go ahead and deploy them down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we have nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we could. I still would like more troops. I'd like a few more cores up here. And it takes a hundred days. May, June, July. I could go in August, I suppose. Hmm. I mean, there's really no sense. I mean, I don't really gain anything by waiting for the check decision. Because I'm just going to say no. And all that does is keep Poland from joining the Allies. How far is Poland? I haven't checked their... Because we still are influencing them, yes? Yes, we are. So... Poland, where are you? Oh my gosh, look at Poland. Look how close they are aligned to the Axis. There's no way they're going to join the Allies. I mean, I don't see how. Why would they do that? Unless there's something in the game, like a hard-coded... Something hard-coded. There is, that, and that's when I take Czechoslovakia. Then they automatically join the Allies. But at this point, I don't see why they would. Czechoslovakia, on the other hand... Take a look at them. They're here. And they will be joining soon. Hmm. You know what? I think I'm going to go in late 38. I think that's what we're going to do. So we, let's use our production on, let's get another interceptor. Just one. That will be done in October. That's probably when we'll go because we only need maybe two months at the most to take France. We may not even need this, but just in case. And um, we could probably use more infantry. So let's... Um, is there anything else we need to do, though? How long will it take to, to get another few cores? Let's, let's take a look. four days two of those so they'll be done in August okay that sounds better August then I'll have September and October and maybe November okay I think that's when we're gonna go so let's get those going and four of these no six Can we even declare war? Let's check. Actually, I didn't even think about that. Diplomacy, Europe. Well, let's go to the majors. France, I cannot. Hmm. 
Okay. So I'd either have to increase their threat or lower our neutrality. I could increase their threat. Instead of disrupting national unity, I could increase their threat. Why don't we do that too? We have tons of free spies. Let's do both. Let's increase their threat and disrupt national unity. What is their national unity now? It was 38 something. 30. Wow. 34.5%. Let's, yeah, let's increase their threat and see if we can get it up there before August. What is it at now? Their threat is 0 0.08. Okay. You know, I could use some more rare materials. Maybe I'll try and find some more of those with Italy. Is it which one is it? Yeah. Or who else has rare materials? Soviets, maybe? Yeah, I could probably do a deal with them. We're making 5.43, so let's see if we can buy 10 and see what they say. They're going to do it. Mobile warfare advances ahead of time. Okay, we're almost ready to do another round of tech, uh, choosing which techs we want to do. So we are at minus 33. What does that bring us to? Let's Krieg advance. Those are all for fuel and metal. Okay. Still at minus 33. Hmm. After signing that big trade deal. Maybe it hasn't kicked in yet. Or maybe... They... Cancelled that trade deal? No? Let's see if we can get more from them. Or somebody else. Uh, let's see, UK? No, we're gonna... We're gonna attack them soon. Let's look at all countries. Rare materials. Soviet Union has the most. Let's do another trade agreement with them. Let's get 10 more. And that's now to 21, minus 21 a day. Okay, looks like we need to do some more. Some more techs. Okay. We're in 1938, middle of 1938. Let's see if there's any. How about, uh, like, yeah, we could do education, agriculture. Oh, these are important. Let's get those at the very top. Industrial production and efficiency increases our industrial capacity. We need those at the very top. First aid, can we do that? Yes, we can. And combat medicine. Heavy AA guns it is a good tech to have, but it increases your uh, anti-aircraft efficiency in the provinces, like, say, we have anti-aircraft guns in um, Hanover. Increases our efficiency, but um, it really doesn't amount to a whole lot, really. How about the fighter techs? Can we do those? Great. Multi-roll fighter. 39. We could do these two. The bomber techs. 
And I'm not going to do the strategic bombers because I don't really want to build those. This is for attack, air defense. Yeah, let's do that. No air launch torpedoes, I don't think. Okay, that should keep us going for a while. Okay, now we're down to minus 11 a day. We could do one more deal, but then... Yeah. Actually, this will change once we get you know, our war economy going. Because see this? Our war economy, minus 25%. That's because we're not at war yet. Um, and if we look at, say, war economies here, when we're able to do uh, total economic mobilization, our industrial capacity increases, um, resources increase by, by 15%. So that should take care of that. Okay, where are we now? Special Forces Advance. I think that's ahead of its... We're ahead on research in that, or we're up to date. We don't need to research it ahead of time. Let's look at our air training. Okay. Naval, I would like to do these, but they're just not that... They, they cannot take precedence over the land technologies and theories. Spearhead Doctrine, we need that. Let's put that at, oh, can we get that? That's ahead of time, I can't do that. Tactical Command Structure. Okay, I'm gonna put that at top. Central planning. Okay. Let's take a look at France again and see. Oh, it does it did go down a little bit. Our neutrality is currently at 43. It was at 44. Hmm. So we're not lowering our neutrality, but we are increasing their threat. See it was point it was 0, 0.0 something, now it's 1.34. Let's just keep writing that and see what happens. Okay, Delay Doctrine and Large Front are now current. There's our self-propelled artillery brigade. Do we want to... No. Do we want to replace... Nah, they want to replace our, anti, our tank destroyers. I'm just going to wait until we get the... Um, superior firepower doctrine um, before we start building those. Okay, let's look at our production. This is August, September 4th, full speed. Looking good. Reinforcement need is now 4.25. Hmm. How is this? This is down to one. Okay. I think we're going to decrease. We need to meet our supply need, I, th I think. Okay. Reinforcements. We don't need those anymore. Okay, we have a decision here. Treaty of Munich. This is the Czech decision. I believe. Yes, Czechoslovakia. During the summer of 1938, the pro-Nazi elements along the Czech Germans along, among the Czech Germans demanded the right to secede from Czechoslovakia a move that created enormous tension between Germany and Czechoslovakia. Hitler, using the minority sentiments in the Sudetenland, started to propagandize about Czech atrocities. So 
Yeah, there are Germans that lived among the border regions here in Czechoslovakia, and they wanted to secede and join Germany. And Czech was like, no way. But it did happen. Let's get back to this. At the same time, the German troops infiltrated the Bohemian borderlands, and Hitler agreed to host a peace conference in Munich. Hitler Chamberlain, yeah, Chamberlain, he came down and he said, yeah, sure, go ahead. As long as you stop here and don't make any other further aggressive moves. <laughs> but that didn't happen, of course, because then he took all of Czechoslovakia. So we're not doing this. Um, so we would gain five more descent if we did. We'd gain um, <clears throat> most these these uh, these provinces here that you see. We would gain all those. Those those would be would become part of Germany. Germany gain, we'd gain threat on Czechoslovakia. We'd gain threat on Poland. Relation with Czechoslovakia would change by negative twenty. We'd lose 10 neutrality, and that's what allows us to basically declare war right away. But as soon as we do this, though, it doesn't say here. Now, I don't think this is it. Um, it's, a, it's a decision after this. Once we fully annex Czechoslovakia, that's when Poland joins the Allies. We're not doing this, though. We're going to ignore that decision. Let's see... Yet, see, now it's down to 42.93. That's because we're increasing our threat. Because it says our, um, our neutrality is currently 42.93, and the effective threat between us and France allows us to declare war. So uh, when our neutrality is at 40.22, so the difference between our neutrality and the, the present threat is too great. But it's not that great. It's. Uh, I, I know that I will be de able to declare war in early spring. The question is, can I do it in fall? In the fall, I don't know. We're going to find out. Okay, we have some units. These are the first of the right. The, the new cores up here. And is there anything else we want to produce? Generally, I like to just keep producing infantry and armor. Hmm. We could use... How long does it take to make transports? Because we're going to need them for Denmark. 133 days. We could wait on those. Let's... Uh... get two more of these okay it is getting close to that time I think I'm gonna start moving these troops to the border here. I mean, it's get, it's the fourth of September. We're gonna get these troops here real soon, and then we can start moving everything over here. And we could probably go. Let's see. Can we declare war yet? How soon? Oh, not quite yet. It's looking like we won't be able to do it until the winter, and I don't know if I want to do it in the winter. I might have to wait until spring. Yeah, I think that's going to do it for this this episode. Um, so, again, next episode, we will probably at some point declare war in France. I don't know exactly when that's going to be. It depends on how soon their threat level gets above to the point where we can declare war. It may be in the winter, it may not. I'll make that decision when it when it happens. So uh, come back and see the next episode. Until then, take care and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.